Governor Tom Wolf and members of his, his administration held a news conference on Thursday in which they provided updated information regarding coronavirus in Pennsylvania. Eventually, the topic turned to youth sports, and as you'll recall, the governor laid out a recommendation last week that all sports activity among those in high school and younger is put off until January 1st. Wolf has not changed his position on that issue, but reiterated that his statement was not a mandate. Individuals and schools are still free to make their own choices. The focus should be on, on learning, and, and to the extent anything that, that, that happens that interferes with that, I think we ought to be careful. Now, again, what I did was give a recommendation. I'm a parent. My kids went to school. My kids were PIAA athletes, and this is my recommendation. <laughs> I also recommended that we, you know, this summer Pennsylvanians avoid going to the Jersey Shore. I'm sorry. That's, a, that's my recommendation. You do what you want. And school districts are going to do what they want. This is my recommendation. It was then, it still is. Wolf went on to say there was likely nothing the PIAA could do to affect that recommendation. Pennsylvania Secretary of Health Dr. Rachel Levine explained the recommendation is in the same vein of what has caused some major college sports to be put on hold. We're making the same um, the recommendation that the, the governor has made based upon the same evidence that Penn State just canceled sports until January 1st, that the Big Ten just canceled all sports until January 1st, that the uh, PAC-12 just canceled all sports until January 1st. And so it's the same data about the contagiousness of the virus, about the impact on children, which we are seeing in more and more states. When it comes to high school sports, the PIAA has delayed the fall season by two weeks and will meet again next Friday to discuss any changes to that plan.